What is up, people? What is up, people? We're going to take a look at the Stanley Martin model, the Caswell in the Potomac Shores. We are in for a treat. This particular home has six bedrooms and a fourth level. We've never seen a fourth level on our channel. I think you're going to really be curious as far as like what that looks like. So the Caswell model or with Stanley Martin, they do have options for homes that are rear loading garages and front loading garages. What they've already built so far in the street are the front loading garages. And we're going to take a look. My favorite feature so far is that fourth level because you have your, op you have an opportunity to have a nice little rooftop deck and another bedroom. Before we go into this beautiful home, did you know that there are three recommended home inspections for new construction properties? If you didn't, let's work together to ensure you have the best building experience in Northern Virginia. I specialize in assisting buyers like you throughout the entire new construction process. Best of all, the builder covers my real estate commission, which means you'll have no money out of pocket for my services. I'll be with you through your contract negotiation, design center consultation, three home inspections, final walkthrough, and the signing of your closing paperwork to receive the keys for your new home. To get started, simply click the link in the description below to complete our perfect home questionnaire. Once completed, we'll meet online via Zoom to answer all your questions about buying a new home in Northern Virginia. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this stunning property tour. I'll talk to you soon. So, as soon as we enter into this space, to your right here, you have a nice size office, plenty of windows here, perfect for working from home. I love the little porch that they included on this model. Probably different elevation levels will offer different options. We have our powder room over here to the front followed by the coat closet. And then we have stairs that go up to the bedroom level and then down to the basement level. Another thing that's cool about this floor plan is that you have enough space for one of those giant sectionals and there is a bedroom up, uh, with, a, with his own ensuite off to the back of the kitchen area over here. So we have a gorgeous kitchen. We have a double oven with a microwave. Now it is an event hood. You all know I love my vent hoods. I don't know if there is an option for you to include a vent hood on this one, but. We have a nice little floor plan, a nice little flow. Now I know some people object to having your dining room not being closed off, but I think one of the things that's cool about this model is that you have this nice wall of windows right here that kind of sets the tone for your dining experience. Now we do have ourselves a walk-in pantry right here, right? Followed by followed by a coat closet off of the garage, and we have ourselves a nice little mud room right there. Now, this is gonna be the two-car garage off to the back here. Let's check and see if this is venting out. Oh, it's not venting out. So you're just gonna have to have that food air recirculating into your house. That could be a deal breaker for some people, other people not so much. All right, let's go take a look outside. You do have yourself a nice little covered deck here. This would be great for your grilling area or some people have actually closed in that uh, space there. So, oh, they didn't close it in. They don't have any deck on there. Okay, excellent. So you have the deck option here. And this is great. This is great to kind of continue your party or have like a little space uh, for entertaining or just relaxing after a nice day of work. All right, so let's go take a look at that full bedroom with the ensuite here. 
So it, it does look a little tight, but this is a first level bedroom. This is very, very rare to get in Prince William County and in, a Potom in Potomac Shores in general. And this is by Stanley Martin. So we have ourselves a step-in closet and we have ourselves a full bathroom. All right, that's the vanity. So now let's go and take a look at the bedroom level. So we have two more levels up and then we have one more level down. Well, you know what, one thing I noticed in this kitchen, this is a nice little place for stools. Look at that, that's pretty nice. All right, so let's go up to the bedroom level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, turn, nine, turn, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So as soon as we exit the stairs, we have some flex space right here. We have a closet right there, which I believe this is a linen closet. Yeah, so there's a little linen closet. And then we have a hallway with two bedrooms, one on each side, and then we have the laundry room, and we have a full bathroom for your guest, and we have the owner's suite. Now with this flex space, you'll notice they already have a window over there, and because of its size, you could make this into a bedroom, you could. Um, but then you would lose this flex space, and some people like this flex, flex space, some people dislike it because now you have a third set of sofas in this house and you know sofas can be expensive so you have a lot of sitting places in this house so now we're in guest bedroom number two remember we had guest bedroom number one on the bedroom level so we got a little music theme here this is going to be off to the front of the property here and we have a nice walk-in closet for guest bedroom number two. All right, so the next room we have is the laundry room. Ooh, we have a nice little sink over here uh, as well. Get those stains out. Plenty of space in that laundry room. And then we have guest bedroom number three. Guest bedroom number three. I like how they have these windows symmetrically positioned in this room so you know exactly where to put the bed. This is off to the side of the property here. And we have another nice size closet. All right, Stanley Martin has done a really good job with the closet space in these models. Now, what I like about this guest bathroom is that it has a double vanity. Oftentimes, the guest bathroom will just have one sink, which means that you can't have multiple people getting ready. And then we'll go take a look at this owner's suite. Now with the owner's suite, as soon as you step in, you have a full closet, walk-in closet to the left, and you have a walk-in closet to the right. What I like about this bedroom is that you have a solid wall, no windows, so you know exactly where to put your bed. And as you can see from the size of this wall, this is big enough to fit a king size sleigh bed with some large end tables quite easily. Now we are off to the side of the property here. So let's get ourselves a little panning shot of the entire room. And I wanna show you one more angle from this owner's bedroom here. So you also have a nice little wall right there for some additional furniture or a TV, right? Now, we do have a nice little sitting room option. I've seen people put Peloton bikes in here, make this into like a little exercise space, make this into like a little office as well. Depends on what you want to do. This bathroom is big enough to have a huge soaking tub, separate vanities, right? and a walk-in shower. So they've done a great job with this layout. And we have ourselves a nice little toilet closet right there. So I think you're gonna be very pleased 
with this single family home model. They've done a great job putting that window right smack in the center where that tub should go. And I didn't notice this on my first tour. Look at that double showers right there. Uh, now this is a little tight space, so I don't know if you're gonna have two people taking a shower at the same time, but it's, I guess, okay to think about, right? Potentially, potentially you have that opportunity. All right, so now we're gonna go to the fourth level, which I believe is just a nice little bonus addition to this unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, turn, nine, turn, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so now we are on the fourth level and my calves are burning. All right, so we have a full bathroom here. Check that out, a full bathroom, plenty of flex space. It's almost like a little apartment. And we have another bedroom here. So this would be guest bedroom number four. So we've already seen five bedrooms thus far. So this is our full bath with a tub, nice size. And we have our flex space here now. I believe this is a utility room, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So we have another little HVAC system up here, which means you don't have to worry about this level being overly hot. It feels quite comfortable right now. And this view is gorgeous. Look at this view. Now, there will be houses all throughout here, so I don't know how much of this view you're actually going to be able to retain. Uh, I'm kind of surprised more people haven't gone for the fourth level deck option. That's interesting, interesting. Um, I will say, you know, I find that some people when they're building their new construction homes is they kind of go for upgrades as far as like granite countertops, some cabinet stuff, but then they don't go for the upgrades for the uh, square footage increase, right? The square footage increase is going to provide you with a much better return on investment than your granite upgrades, okay? And your countertop upgrades, paint upgrades, your doorknob upgrades. All right, so we have a nice little flex space here, perfect little TV wall there. They've done a great job of staging this and showing us how you would use this space. Then we have ourselves that bedroom. Looks like we have a full-size bed right there, tucked in really cozily. Cozily, I don't know if that's a word or not. In uh, that space here. And we have ourselves a nice closet. Looks like a traditional size closet. Um, no rods in there, but you could definitely put a rod in there. And yeah, that's it. So now let's go and take a look at the, the basement level. One, let me count any more. We've already counted. All right, so now we're on the living level. Oh, the bedroom level. Now we're on the living level with the kitchen. Now it's time to go to the basement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so now we are on the, ba the basement level. Uh, the first door we have over here is storage underneath the stairs. Right. And then we have ourselves uh, a little movie room, our fitness room, workout room. We have our utility room right here. We have two doors over here, which are going to be our bathroom and our bedroom. And then we have some flex space right here. We will explore. So when it comes to this, this room here, you know, you got a lot of options here, right? So you could definitely put yourself a, a nice size TV right there on that wall and make this into like a viewing room or you can make this into like a little fitness room. I mean, a nice size fitness room, so it's quite large. So just kind of depends on what you would like to do with this space. 
since there's no window or no escape window no door we can't say that that is a bedroom okay so we have our flex space here let's go take a look at this utility room all right so we have some storage right over there in the utility room we've got our hot water heater over there we have our hvac system right there and what i like about this basement is that we have a full bathroom with a tub so nice size vanity and then that's connected to your bedroom on this level so there is is there a door behind here oh there's it's not connected i'm sorry about that i misspoke all right so this is your bedroom you have your escape window right over there this is another one of those items that you should pay the upgrade for when you're buying new construction get your escape window i know it's probably gonna be like 15 25 000 but that's gonna pay out huge dividends in the future when you go back to advertise your property as a a bedroom in the basement no escape window it's gonna be hard to market your space having a, a bedroom in the basement we have seen properties where just because there's a door right here they'll say that this room is a bedroom it's just a hard it's a hard sell okay it's a hard sell so here's our flex space here plenty of space for yourself a nice giant recliner our sofa set or our sectional and that is it that's it for this tour now I will drive around after this tour is over to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like around this construction site but that's it so if you have any questions let me know post them down below in the comment section if you're looking for representation re remember the builder does pay a buyer commission to your real estate agent so there's no extra cost on your end for representation representation means that you're going to be taken care of by somebody who represents you and not the builder so that's it for me abraham walker ask a walker you know the virginia real estate agent and i will see you on the next video peace